amazing. A little strength training goes a long way. Yes, Olaf. So basically, it's just weakness in the muscle? That's all it is. You just, all you've done is strengthen the muscle. Da da. Should be music playing after I do that. <laughs> after I say that. Oh, but how do you do it? Is yes. You would think, well, gee, if I strengthen my muscle, how am I going to get into the position of that water? Yeah, absolutely. That's the precise way to do it. Thank you very much. I'm leaving now. You guys can just talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> that was it. Strengthening muscles, if you do it correctly, strengthening muscles gives you better posture. If you have better posture, not only are you going to work a little bit differently, but after work, you're going to be a little bit different. You're going to feel a little bit different. You're going to carry yourself a little bit differently. If my oldest daughter knew that I was saying this right now, she would rip me a new rear end. She's 24 years old. She's 125 pounds. She's a 30 double G. Natural. <laughs> she tells me. The muscles in between her shoulder blades always used to bother her. Always, always, always. We started doing that exercise. Pain went away. Disappeared. And now I can see she's having breast reduction surgery. She's going to be a lot happier, just in case you need to know this. But imagine being a 34 double G at 120. She's like 130 pounds and 5'8". that she had, which was the muscles in between the shoulder blades, couldn't keep her contracted, couldn't keep her standing up well enough with proper posture. Yes, I'm sorry, first name? Hi, Olivia. Hi. What kind of exercises do you recommend for like your best clients and clients? We'll go over those too. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you. Great question. Yeah, it's funny. Normally on these, what I'll get is people will ask, what's this for this problem? And that's when you know, yeah, absolutely. We'll come up with those for you. All right. We have stretches as well as strengthening exercises for you. They're kind of difficult. The stretches are pretty easy, but the strengthening exercises are kind of difficult, but they're worth doing. Okay? All right. Now, some exercises, uh, pardon me, every exercise you do, I'm going to back up for a second. Every exercise you do, one area of the body is going to contract or tighten or strengthen, and the other is going to stretch. That's how the body works. So there's always opposing muscles. Some work opposition, some work helping to make that move. Some work to fix a joint to help make a move. This works all of those. Rotator cuff, four muscles that take your arm and pull it in to the shoulder blade, glenohumeral fossa, in case you need to know. So there's a hole like this, and your arm gets held in by four muscles. Plus there are a bunch of muscles like your pectoralis, your chest, your trapezius in the back, your deltoid muscle, which goes over the top, your arm bone, uh, pardon me, your bicep and tricep, all of those work to help Hold your arm in and make it move. These are four movements of this. This exercise is going to help really strengthen three of the four. So what I want you to do is I want you to sit in your chair. Now, if you notice, I'm right outside of my buddy's uh, dental office. He just happens to have a wall there. So all I did was I just sat back. No, we don't. Pretend you have a wall behind you. All I want you to do is keep your right arm and bring it straight out to the side. So your arm is bent into an L, it's perpendicular to your body or straight out. Is anybody in pain doing this or are you okay? Everybody? Tell me. Are you, is anybody in pain or is everybody okay? Okay. Okay. Now, all I want you to do is get your back up against the chair. Again, there's that push your head back. If you don't have a wall, pretend you do. So it's that proper posture. Bring your right elbow out to your side and your right hand to the ceiling. Now, all I want you to do is take your right hand and just push it back, gently, gently. Notice that word there? I'm going to say it with syllables. Gently, 